What's up guys, in this video, I wanna just teach you really quickly how to ban someone from ever commenting, liking, or messaging your Facebook business page. And this is really important, especially when you start running ads, because the fact of the matter is this, people, expect, you know, other roofers and homeowners who have had bad experiences with, with other contractors out there are going to see your ads, and because of how good your ads are, they're likely going to hate them. The better they are, the more they're gonna show hate on your, your content. And it's because they're scared. Um, you know, Other contractors that see your stuff and see how good it is and that it, they know it's gonna be effective, they're scared. So they're gonna try to hate on your comment, totally normal. Homeowners who've had bad experiences with contractors and just don't trust them are going to hate on your comment once in a while. And um, when you know that they're not being sincere in the comments, when you know that they're just commenting to spam your posts and show hate and um, not at all be constructive, uh, then you you're, you should ban them. You know, you shouldn't delete their comment because then they can comment again. You shouldn't hide it because then you're just gonna be hiding comments all the time and it's not gonna stop them from doing it in the future. You should ban them, banning them what it does is it actually deletes all previous comments they'd, they'd, they've ever made and it prevents them from ever commenting on your ads or content ever again. So it's really great to do, especially if you're dealing with a, competi a, a competing roofer who's messing with you or another sales guy from another company that comments on your posts. So this is how to ban people so that they don't continue doing that. You don't have to worry about it. And after a certain amount of time, there will just be, it'll happen far less frequently because there will just be less people who haven't been banned from leaving those comments. Now, in previous videos, I do mention how important replying to comments, even when they're not the nicest, is uh, in actually getting more people to reach out and, and want to hire you and talk to you. Because the fact of the matter is, even if someone's not being very nice, if they're saying things that you can respond to in a constructive, helpful, kind way, then you should do that. But if, but there are definitely times when people are just showing hate. They have no intention of getting, uh, you know, any sort of response, um, and and there's really no way to respond to them in a constructive way without, you know, it turning into an argument. So you just ban them, especially if you if they've done this sort of thing multiple times, and you want to just stop them from ever doing it again. So let's just jump in. I'm going to just show you. I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly how to do that from your computer so that you can do it yourself, um, and that'll be awesome. All right. So watch now. So when you're on a desktop or laptop computer and you're wanting to manage your Facebook business page, what you need to do is go to facebook.com slash, and then whatever your business name, username is, but another easy way to get there is just to go to the search box in Facebook and type in the name of your business and then click on it. So, you, so you're on the actual business page, okay? Once you're here, if you're an admin of your page, which you should be if you're the owner of the business or someone that works there and has access to this, you'll see all of your controls on the left side here. And the way that Facebook works now, because it didn't used to always be like this, is you have an inbox, but the inbox is not only for messages to your page, it's also for managing comments on your ads or your posts. So what you wanna do if you wanna manage the comments is click where it says inbox, and that's gonna open up your, usually the Facebook business suite, but Facebook is you know, kind of transitioning from one thing to another, so not everyone has the exact same screen, but the principles are the same. Basically, it's going to take a little bit to load. It's gonna open up the meta business suite. You can see that on the, on the tab up here and it's gonna show you your inbox. You can see how slow this is, and I have like the fastest internet ever, and uh, it still takes a while to load, so be patient. Now, when you're in this screen, you're gonna see, it's gonna to default to all the messages that your page got. Okay, so here are the messages. Um, but if you look over here, you're gonna see where you can manage other things, like Facebook comments and Instagram comments. If you click on, so I have one Instagram comment on my uh, on something that I've done. So yeah, this is one of my ads uh, regarding um, the reason Facebook ads didn't work for your roofing company. I'm running that as an ad. And you see this person, um, this company, it looks like a roofing company, said they're two times, they're two times more expensive now and way less effective. 
Um, I don't agree with that. Uh, I don't think Facebook ads are more expensive and less effective than other platforms. I think it's that's the opposite of the truth. I think they're more effective and way, way cheaper if they're done right. Um, but you'll see that I actually responded um, to this person with this comment, and then they just responded again an hour ago. Um, uh, as people replace their old phones with new phones. Yeah. So th this is definitely a common belief that people have about Facebook ads. I don't agree with it at all. I could do future videos on that. Uh, maybe I will today or tomorrow or something. But in this video, I, I want to show you what to do to delete or, or delete a comment or, or better yet, ban someone. Now, this person does not deserve to get banned. They're, they're being sincere. They really do think that um, Facebook ads suck and that they're only going to get worse. And I, I, I understand where they're coming from. But let's say someone left a comment that was just vitriolic and mean and, and uncalled for and not at all constructive. I want to see if I have um, some comments that I can look at. So I clicked Facebook comments. Let's see. These are all the comments that people left. Um, this person said, uh, this is a fake comment that someone left. Um, let's see if I can find a mean comment that I never deleted. Uh, ba -ba, let's see. So I'm clicking around to just get to the comments here. So this person wrote, this is a perfect example. This person wrote, who cares, you know, and, um, you know, just like, that's not helpful at all. And clearly this guy just doesn't, he's not going to ever be positive on any of my own posts or ads or anything. So I want to ban him. And what banning him does is it actually makes it so that all of his previous comments, if he left any on any of my posts or ads, um, no longer show up. They are, they are they are gone from all of my posts and ads. And he can't do it in the future. He can't comment or, or, or anything on my content in the future. So to do that, here's what you do. You click the three buttons here that you'll see when you scroll over the comment, okay? And what you do is you scroll down to give feedback or report this comment. So what type of you know what, what what are we reporting this as it's not nudity it's not violence it's not harassment it's not suicide or self-injury it's not false information it is spam you know he's just spamming my posts with junk so we're going to click spam and then what you do is then you click ban gabe okay this will make it so that he won't be able to like comment or post on or message your the page ever again so we're going to ban gabe we're going to click that and then click the blue button. And then it says, Gabe banned. You can always undo it, but he's now banned. And then we click done. Gabe is now gone. Okay. He, he, he doesn't show it that he's gone here, but he is, he's been banned. And that is the best thing to do. If you are noticing that someone is commenting with no intention of of being constructive or, or with no intention of asking a sincere question. They're just trying to, you know, hate on your content and your posts. Um, the best thing to do is just ban them. So from your computer, that's the easiest way to do it. It's really easy to do it from your phone as well. You just, you know, scroll to that comment, you tap it or hold your finger on it. And then the option to ban them will show up. Uh, it'll, it'll pop up as an option. It's really easy to do so that, but, but if, but if, you know, for, as a fail safe, just do it from your computer. Um, it's a little bit more reliable, I think. And, uh, and that's it. So that's how to ban people. You ban them when they're not doing anything constructive and, uh, when they're just hating on your stuff just to hate and that's not cool. So ban them and then they'll never be able to do it again. Okay. So that is how to ban people from your Facebook business page. I do it on occasion. Um, I, I teach my clients how to do it and now I'm teaching everyone how to do it. And this video will also serve as a way for me to show them uh, how to do it. But I'm posting it publicly because it's helpful to other businesses as well that I'm not even working with. And, and that might be you, if that is you and you like this kind of content, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, go to my website and go hit the learn tab and you can watch other, uh, videos just like this. Um, and, uh, if you ever want to talk to me about how I might be able to help you with your roofing company or contracting business, uh, there are links around this video below probably to do just that. So 
that's it. I hope um, this was helpful to you. And uh, maybe we'll talk one day. All right. See ya.